open reduction and internal fixation for the mallet thumb. In this patient with an avulsion of the base of the thumb distal phalanx, internal fixation is performed. Either a Y-shaped flap or a goalpost flap can be used as marked out here. In this particular case, the goalpost flap provides excellent exposure of the dorsal aspect of the thumb IP joint. The flaps are carefully elevated with sharp dissection to avoid injury to the nail bed. Then the capsules and size on either side of the EPL tendon so the joint can be inspected and the fracture fragment reduced. This is confirmed under fluoroscopy and stabilized with a bone reduction clamp. Once anatomic reduction has been performed, internal fixation can be accomplished with screw fixation. These small 1.2 millimeter screws help to avoid the problem that cerclage wires can have with rotation of the fracture fragments. In this case, one screw is applied on either side of the reduction clamp after first making a longitudinal incision in the tendon so the screw head can be placed directly down to the bone of the distal fragment. X-rays confirm anatomic alignment. Additional sutures are used to help reinforce the distal attachment of the EPL tendon. The patient can then be mobilized after the wounds are closed with dynamic splinting allowing active flexion and dynamic extension. The wounds are closed with interrupted sutures as demonstrated here.